All right. Um, first, Reggie, I just wanted to uh, thank you for coming on. Let everybody know that it's your birthday today. So happy birthday to you. Um, but uh, more importantly, I wanted to get your reaction to the latest episode of No Limit Chronicles. For those that have been following that, I'm sure they're interested in your reaction and, and what you thought about it. So the stage is yours to to say what you say what you feel. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for uh, for the cards and um, the certain people, D D Block, my boy B Dash Lee, and D Will, and um, Kayla Lee, and all the for the special cards and the uh, the money I put on my books. I appreciate that. As always, much much respect. And my boy T Carter, I don't know Thomas Carter, also my boy Lamar from Philly. Haven't heard from my boy uh, D. Helm for a while. D. Helm, miss you, brother. Get information to me so we can talk. But hopefully all is well with you too, D. Helm. Yeah, yeah, I was watching it and I, I saw it. Mm -hmm. And I got a couple emails as well from people. And I hate that just because people say things, y'all take it as truth. Mm -hmm. I hate always having to be the person to bring out evidence and receipts. Y'all make, make me always have to pull out receipts on people. But y'all yeah, know y'all done heard the story from me a hundred times. So I tell the story again, and then I'll back myself story up with, with receipts. Mm -hmm. So Master P says in the video that, um, and John, if you can play it, I appreciate it if you can play it mm -hmm. so people can see it. Um, so this Master P says that uh, he came up to uh, <laughs> uh, Mill Creek and mm -hmm. worked out a deal and only gave shit a couple of million dollars, and he got him off. Well, Master P is straight out liar. And let me just say this. I like Master P. Um, uh, I like everything that he did, mm -hmm. even though I think that he gets, he gets away with, they always say, sure, be his artist out of money. And his artist on a documentary where he gave him money to come and talk, uh, he, they all pretty much say he ripped them off at the end. Mm -hmm. So that's not what the story is about. Um, but, um, um, my 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 statement is uh Ali said that he came up to the prison and and uh, talked to Shiv and gave him a couple million dollars that and he's gone. Well, number one, it was for four point five million dollars that he, that, uh, that was given to him, and he didn't cut the check. Priority Records cut the check on his half on mm -hmm. his behalf, and it was recouped. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so let's get that straight. Uh, Shiv didn't even know who Master P was in ninety six ninety seven. Um, um, but anyway, what happened was a guy that Master P had a great deal with, Brian Turner, um, is the one that came up to the prison, and, um, him and Jimmy Ivey from Mexico were supposed to have been doing a two-way buy for seven or eight million dollars for sure, mm -hmm. I mean for Snoop. Mm -hmm. I told y'all about how Leroy Corn tried to do it, but she was doing a crazy number because I guess he didn't want him on East Coast of Death Jail. He told him like 13 million, and New York couldn't come up with that much money. Went to jail. Mm -hmm. I think he came back with like seven. And Shug wanted to uh, keep Snoop on the West Coast and deal with people that he knew he could control. Quite frankly, meaning Jimmy Iovine and Brian Turner, mm -hmm. and they were going to do a deal. But then at the last minute, I think Dre smashed on it and didn't want Snoop over there because he was mad at Snoop at the time. Mm -hmm. and, and Jimmy all of a sudden pulled out. <laughs> so that's when Shug told um, Brian to have Master P front the money or, you know, be able to recoup it, mm -hmm. bill it to Master P. And so that's how the deal went. He made a deal. I was sitting right there, and he told Brian, hey, get that country mother to, to you know, give me an override. Mm -hmm. He told me, I'll give you a deal of the century. Give me an override and four and a half million dollars, and I'll let y'all have it. Mm -hmm. And that's why it was called the last meal and, and all of that because you know we it definitely not you know debatable that she got override. Right. Uh, I think it was a seven percent override on all his albums on the well on the last three albums. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I just had to call it out. P lying, tell him he came up to the, to see that's where they messed up at because they be lying so much they don't even be knowing where people were. Mm -hmm. He said Mule Creek. Now, we all know shit with that Mule Creek prison. But he didn't go to Mule Creek prison 
until after our houses got raided. Mm -hmm. There was a pool when they raided the office and raided my house, uh, Mr. Lay's house, is when they shipped them, shipped to uh, Mill Creek to put him behind an electric fence. This call is from a federal prison. They thought we was murder suspects. Mm -hmm. And so if y'all see the timeline with when my house got raided and the Elf Row office got raided and all of that, the first, the first time. time, not yep. the second time, yep. the first time. Then y'all see that Snoop was already over there at Masterpiece, No Limit Records, when that happened. And um, so this to uh, let Masterpiece know where shit was at when Snoop was signed, his rights was assigned to Priority Records. Mm -hmm slash no limit. He was at CMC in St. Louis Obispo. That's where you went. You lied. But anyway, um, it's not true. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he, he just got on the you know the show and just spread out and told that lie. Um, I hate always having to be the one to break out with the receipts and all of that and show stuff. But hey, y'all just see it. She had got moved to Mule Creek after the raids, and I'm sure Snoop was already over there at, uh, at No Limit and probably already had an album out mm -hmm. when uh, they raided our houses for uh, the murder. John put it up. Yep. He had five some evidence and post uh, the dates when when all of that went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just wanted to clear that up. Um, what else? Snoop's trying to say it. he wasn't yeah. hit. But I don't know why, you know, hopefully John got the police report again. Yep. You can post that up for naysayers where he admitted that night he got struck, struck mm -hmm. in the side of the face. Yep. <laughs> but now he's trying to say he, Trayvon missed when he uh, swung at him, mm -hmm. or whoever's supposed to swung at him. He's trying to say uh, missed. But um, he did say, and I'll give him that credit, he did say f uh, Shug to us when I told him, hey man, he needs to apologize to Shug. Yeah. And um, he did say that, mm. but that's why Trayvon was destructive to, 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 to sock the mother. Wish I would have had one of the bigger homies sock him. That's still a, you know, Trayvon little ass, but that's either here or there because Trayvon was the closest one to me. Mm -hmm. A country ass, but all of them, they was over here trying to talk and get weed <laughs> from <laughs> Take their weeds and stuff, bro. <laughs> they wasn't concentrating. Yeah. But it's funny how he tried to make it seem like he was by himself. Yeah. No. no. Then he messed up and say, "Oh yeah, me and my cousin Daz ran to, to towards the police." Mm -hmm. Well, first you say a few minutes ago you say that you was by yourself. And then all of a sudden you and Daz running together. Mm -hmm. Not to mention <sighs> that Daz always denied that that even happened. That they ran to the police or whatever after that incident. Remember they said we yeah. take the paperwork and all that. Yeah, but you know, we know that's a liar. We know that. Yeah. Don't remember. But even Snoop admitted that they ran and took off and ran towards the ran to they ran into the police. I think he said. Yeah. But Priest, Superfly, all of those niggas, so Daz, all those dog pound dudes. I don't remember Trey D. Mm -hmm. I know Big C style wasn't with him because Big C style I think was with us at the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he was with him. But I know um I know there was a few of them over there. Yeah. It was about five or six of them there. But, it, of course, he tried to make it seem like he was by himself. Mm -hmm. But, no, so you were here because you think it's what... Yep. On there so, where, when, when Shug's, uh, or, I'm sorry, when Snoop's rights were sold, they said that Death Row retained the rights to the name Snoop Doggy Dog. What was the purpose in that, just so that he, did, he could... Four albums. That name? Okay. No, 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 no. We let him use the name. Um, well, he, he, he think we couldn't, but... It was mainly the dog pound. That's what they, Daz and them always, they came up, they had to grow up. Mm -hmm. um, that was the main thing that we kept, the dog pound name, the name dog okay. pound. Gotcha. But we didn't try to take a name. We just wanted the rights to be able to use it. We didn't want it. We was, we, I learned that from um, Prince. That was around the time when Prince, mm -hmm. when, when Warner Brother let them go. Yeah. And they wouldn't let him use the name. Right. And then they, and that's why he changed his name to Assemble. Yeah. People yeah. don't know that. <laughs> you know, people don't. But that, that's all that, that power move was. Okay. But he kept the name uh, Snoop Dogg. I think he tried to change it to Top Dog after that. But yeah. that was just because he tried to say you're the Top Dog. And uh, that's why we named uh, YGD. He eventually named him Top Dog. Okay. So everything was just a counter move with them. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that was there. Okay. 
Yeah. But one one other thing, Snoop always talked about how he had he didn't have money um, until he got to No Limit. But um, obviously he had the house, he had stuff, he had the attorneys to help him get out the money. Yeah, uh, he had a house. Yeah, four and a half million dollars, and and the, and to pay off the family for the murder that he committed, and then also. Um, you know, paying for his attorneys and his friends' attorneys, mm -hmm. and then also the bodyguards. And mm -hmm. He had a house, a penthouse on Wilshire. He had a house out in Claremont that's in his name. He keeps trying to say it wasn't in his name. I think he still owns that house to this day, yeah. the house in Claremont. Um, he had the house in um, a Toluca, Toluca Lake mm -hmm. that he had, and, um, you know, taking care of his mom, his dad, and, and his homeboys. He had a personal driver. Um, Bobby Earl, don't you, come on, Snoop. He had uh, two of my security guards with him 24 hours. This call is from a federal prison. Plus, we had videos he had to play for. He had uh, uh, studio time, unlimited studio time. Mm -hmm. And all of that's recouped. You probably sold 10 million records for Death Row. And so, if he had a great deal, that's a dollar a record. Yeah. All you really generated at Death Row was $10 million. All of that was so, but and when 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 we assigned his rights over to Master mm -hmm. P, uh, I cleaned up all the records. I did that. I personally gave wrote a check and had it taken over to his account firm over on Olympic for one million dollars. Mm -hmm. And and I know that because I took the check over there because he owed me forty thousand dollars at the time for two months of security service gotcha. <laughs> that I made him <laughs> cash me out. So you so said, here's that. a million, give me my 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I remember that vividly. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, uh, you know, I just hate that they, they, they try to, uh, they forget or they mm -hmm. just try to make people look bad and try to make sure look bad. And he admitted he did three albums for Master P and he only, uh, Said he only got four or five million dollars from him, yeah. <laughs> which is which is crazy. But he always say, "Not to be this, not to be that." But right. the one thing I hate that's happening too, P, is, or I'm kind of glad it's happening, is that people learn out that's just how the business is. All the artists think they got cheated when because they look at how you living right. and how you doing, and they forget they only one source when when Suge and P had ten sources. Mm -hmm. Meaning they had ten, they were eating off of ten different people. Where you only eating off of one piece, right. and then you want to look, look at how we live and yeah. worry about how we live, and and and, and that's what happened to his, his artists, and that's why they all started complaining at the end as well. Yeah, that we're learning from this documentary. Yeah. I saw something. I don't know. It didn't come on today, but I saw a highlight a couple of weeks ago or something where he said something about Sugar called him and told him um, not to come to L.A. or he had to move, and he said. Well, when you move in or something like that. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that, It was a clip where Master P said, that Suge called him and said, L.A. is not big enough for both of us. And Ma Master P replied to Suge and said, okay, well, when are you moving? Because I'm not leaving. Yeah. Well, all I can say on that is when P was finally moved to L.A. once he left New Orleans, Suge was deep into prison. Suge had been in prison from 96 to 2002. Mm -hmm. So if something like that was said, it had to be after 2002. And I can't confirm or deny that. Yeah. But I know he didn't say nothing to him like that in 94, 95, 96, 97. Right. Yep. It's pr pr pretty well, debatable that he'd say it after uh, 2002 because No Limit was pretty much done at that point. Exactly. So I think that's another one of Master P lived. Mm -hmm. I think he'd been hanging around uh, Snoop too long. And, uh, you know, they like to play my song. Why you always lying? Mm -hmm. well, that's why I say his name is Snoop Lion. <laughs> yeah. That's why he named his name Snoop Lion. But hey, man, I just wanted to touch bases on that. Thank you all for the birth stuff. I'm 54 years of age now. And man, I want to tell y'all that y'all have a good one. Appreciate all the love that my people at Bomb First be giving me, John. Yeah. Love you like a brother. And um, sure, it's 10 o'clock yeah. p.m. on a Wednesday night. Now, I know John probably won't put this up until tomorrow because yep. he's going to have to find some of the evidence. But um, y'all have a good one, man. I'm about to go on, go on what we call a furlough.